The speaking test is 20 minutes. There are 8 tasks in speaking test. Please try your best to complete each task. I like the winter season. In the winter I would like to wear the warm fabric of outfits like jerseys, furry, wool, and cotton also because these types of fabrics protect us from cold. But my favorite clothes are woolen clothes as those are really soft and affordable. I mostly prefer woolen clothes in winter. Hello Daniel, I heard, from your brother Roger, who is my best friend that you are coming to Bangalore in order to attend a conference and search for a hotel that you can afford. If you ask me, go for a guest house, although you will find one star, two star, three star and other numerous hotels here. But all of them are very expensive, and hotels that are available at a low cost are not that great and a week in a hotel will be boring. When I came here for the first time even I was thinking about taking up a hotel to stay in but then one of my close friends suggested that I should stay in a guest house. 
Guest houses are generally considered to be the ideal place for guests to stay because you will get enough privacy and all the basics at a very affordable cost. You can stay in a guest house like your own small apartment. One of the most crucial things that differentiate a guest house from a hotel is the overall feel. All hotel rooms always seem to be exactly the same and may leave a person feeling trapped. On the other hand, a guest house offers a feeling of comfort as the person feels like they are living in a home and not only in a room. With facilities such as a kitchen, living room, and laundry services, you are most likely to feel like you are living in a home away from your own home. So, I think you should go to a guest house, in spite of a hotel. I was laying in my bed watching Netflix and doing homework when my maid burst into my room and told me that my grandma passed away. She was alive almost my whole life and I loved her like a best friend who would comfort me when I was down. The fact that my maid had the need to tell me this, and I didn't get the chance to talk to my grandma about it, saddened me even more. Anyway, I stopped everything and cried all throughout the night and didn't make it to school the next morning, it still breaks me, it's just a painful feeling of wanting to see her again. I used to be annoyed with her because she kept on saying the same words during a call and kept on calling. She would call at random times like when I used to have lessons or eat and I used to try to avoid her call, it breaks me now. I just wish that I could have answered the calls. And one of the most hurtful things is that I missed her very much. She was not eating much and ate very small bites. She knew that she was sick, but she didn't want to trouble my dad to take her to the hospital, so she didn't say anything. I miss her so much. I regret all the mean things I did. I just wish I could see her again. Every time I think of her and I just break down into tears. I also used to get annoyed because she would always hug me. Now I just want those hugs. I love her so much and miss her so much. The thought of her always makes me sad.
the picture is of a school canteen, where a number of students are present. But all of them seem to be angry, probably they are fighting with each other. In the backside, there are students who are sitting with plates full of food, the plate has a burger and a drink. The girl with yellow hair, the boy with a gray t-shirt and gray cap, and the boy with light, light brown hair seem to be very angry, all of them are looking towards the same side, and are getting angry. It seems like the other students are having a fight, and they are cheering for them with anger. In front of that, there is a boy with brown hair wearing a red shirt who is holding a baseball bat, and he is hitting a girl with that bat. The girl who is, who is wearing a pink t-shirt is also attacking the boy with something. The girl's face has an injury, it seems like the boy has already attacked her face. Even after having an injury, the boy is still attacking the girl and even the girl is doing the same thing. It seems like some other students are fallen on the ground. In the given picture, it might happen that the students will end up hurting each other as they are fighting using bats and other kinds of things. The guy with the bat might hit the girl and the girl might fall down with an injury to her head, or it might happen that before the boy will hit the girl, the girl might hit him, anything is possible, if this happens, then the boy will go through an injury and injury and will fall on the ground. The two persons who are already fallen to the ground out of injury might be necessary for the teachers to take them to the hospital, the children sitting at the backside might get into a fight, and they might throw food at each other as they have a lot of food left on their plates. As they are fighting in a school canteen the teachers will come and might, might punish each one of them for having a fight, if the situation will be worse then the teachers will have to call their parents for a meeting. The students might get rusticated from the school for a few days because of causing a nuisance in the school canteen.
Hello dad, I carefully reviewed both the options and I think you should go with the option of bigger TV. It has some good features that make it a better choice in comparison with small TV. According to the features of bigger TV, it has more clarity and it comes with HD vision. You will get a theater feeling. We can also connect surround sound speakers which will be like cinema theater feelings. On top of that, it is easily available. On the other hand in small TV also has good features such as being pocket friendly, requiring less space and less power. But, I think we should purchase a big TV because the resolution and pixels are much better as compared to small TV. On top of that these days, large TVs comes with 4K resolution. So, I think we should go with a bigger TV. Dear mom, I came to know that you are suggesting curved TV. Yes, this is also a very good option that we can think of, it comes with a wider viewing angle. But, it is more expensive than the bigger TV. It is, also very expensive to set up. Many of the users have complained that sometimes the pictures get distorted and it catches light and it catches light from more angles. So, I think you should not opt for bigger TV. I know to some extent boarding schools are good. And I know you guys really want to go to a boarding school, but there are several things that you guys should know before deciding anything. Boarding schools are nothing but hidden trauma. When a young child is sent away from home to live with strangers they lose the attachment figures in their home which indirectly affect their education and education and career. They may experience bullying and loss which will lead to depression and directly affect the study. In boarding schools, it is really very hard to fit in. 
It isn't necessary that you will find a friend there who is going to help you in your tough times and even in studies. As you live away from your parents, little thing you irritated and because of irritation and tension you will not be able to focus on your studies which will again impact your education. No doubt students are much more disciplined as they are around teachers most of the times but the pressure on students increases as you do every work on your own. So before deciding or choosing anything, think what will be better for, be better for you and your future. Studying in a local school is something that most of the people prefer as the personality growth is directly connected to it. Local schools have their own unique ways of developing or analyzing the personality of children. Local school provides a structured education and promotes a child's mental and psychological growth. Aside from learning academics, a child will also learn other important life skills such as teamwork, good manners, unity, sharing, and responsibility provides opportunity for study and discipline. Local school provides opportunity to the students to be disciplined. They show discipline in classroom, playground, hostel, home and library or other places. It is a meeting place of students and teachers. So the local school is a place where everything will be good. It is essential not only for child's personality development but also for the development of mankind. Personality development is significant for the students because it has its own benefits in life. It is important for every individual to get success in life. It helps children to become good learners. And if the children will study in local schools then the upbringing will be at home, which will help them even more to focus on their studies. If banning those advertisements will make people healthier, then yes, I am in favor of it. I think the total ban on the advertisements of unhealthy food will bring down the obesity level and will make people healthy because people are like a blank canvas. Anything and everything can impact their minds. Watching commercials showcasing unhealthy food may, resu may result in them adopting an unhealthy diet and will have numerous diseases. If the advertisements are banned then there will be less excited about eating junk food. Eating a lot of unhealthy food will lead to an increase in obesity levels which is not a good thing. Unhealthy food once in a while is okay but eating it regularly is not a good idea, it has numerous side effects. So banning the ads will be very advantageous for everyone because if people will not watch the ads they will have less interest in unhealthy food and will eat more fruits and vegetables and will be healthy, so the obesity levels will be down, which is a very important thing, and Canada will become a more and more healthy country.
Hello Daniel, once I went to a private zoo, I wish you were there with me. There I saw several animals who were very much friendly to unfriendly animals. The view was heartbreaking adorable. There are some people out there who still believe that animals are just dumb beasts, but things that I saw clearly prove that they are capable of feeling love and compassion just like we are. I was so happy after watching those animals and their bonding. I saw a chimpanzee who was sitting and holding a dog like a child and both of them were happy and chilling. After watching them, I felt like two humans are sitting and gossiping. It was also funny. I talked with the zoo caretaker and I came to know that the dog and the chimpanzee are very good friends. They eat, play, and sleep together. After that I walked forward and then the thing that I saw, I was mesmerized. I saw another black chimpanzee who was holding a tiger's cub just like a baby. He was taking the cub somewhere. Both of them were very adorable. Unusual friendships like, like these show that animals may be far more emotionally complex than many of us believe.